to get churches together. And how many of y'all know that sometimes that can be difficult? But uh, in order for God to do what He wants to do, we're going to have to get together. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Amen. So one more time, Miss Denise, for all that she does around here, the things that you don't see. Give her a big round of applause. Praise the Lord. I'm, just, hot heels. It's I'm surrounded by some absolutely wonderful people. Now, Miss Faith is going to do one song for you that you'll recognize, and one is an original. So uh, if you appreciate this young lady, I know that you're going to absolutely love the ministry of Miss Faith Lockett today. <laughs> I've been fighting all day too. I, I have the crud, so just just bear with me. But I have to say, guys, you know, if I were dying, this is the one place that I would want to be. Yeah. Cause you know what? I'm not gonna let no sinus infection, no cold, whatever this junk is, gonna hold me back from praising my God. Cause let me tell you, there's no place I'd rather be. Amen. Preach it, really not. So you know, guys, whenever God gave me this song.
Wow. Praise the Lord. Yes. That young lady right there is going to touch the kingdom of God. Is she not? Yes, she already Lord, is. 16 years old and uh, just an absolute anointed minister, songwriter, singer, preacher sometimes. Yeah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Faith, if you'll transition back onto that piano for me, I would appreciate it. Listen, guys, why I'm super excited, I want to talk just real briefly on enlightened Kingsport and then we're going to hear some more great singing. I appreciate you guys coming uh, to be with us. Um, this is just a, such an, a, an amazing event. And God had placed this upon our hearts some time ago as we were met with staff at the beginning of the year and we were tossing around whether to go out of the country. Um, and the Lord began to place upon my heart, hey, let's worry about Jerusalem and Judea. Amen. And yes. Acts 1 and 8 says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and then the uttermost part of the earth. I believe we need to keep a good balance, and I believe that we need to uh, present the gospel and love on our community in our back door. Yes. Amen. Yes. Just as much is across the rest of the globe. So this thing began to be planted as a seed in my spirit and it's just grown. And uh, this thing will become what you guys will allow it to. Mm -hmm. It will become what you allow it. I want to read a verse of Scripture in Romans 10, starting at verse 1. Now this is Paul uh, sharing his heart on how he feels about the nation of Israel. Now Paul was called to who? Paul was called to the Gentiles. And so this is actually some God's chosen people. He's talking about the nation of Israel. And this chapter talks about how we as Gentiles were grafted in and it goes into all of that. But I just, I just want to share with you Paul's heart in this. And he says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel that they might be saved. Now this is Paul's heart and he's expressing and opening himself up how he feels about the nation of Israel. And I believe that there's a couple key words here that we need to get deep inside of us and that's desire and prayer. Yeah. Desire and prayer. Now, how many of y'all like to talk a whole lot and you know some folk that talk a whole lot but there's not a whole lot of action to come behind it? Amen. Now, Paul said, my desire is that Israel be saved. And church, until we get a desire in our heart for folks up and down Severe and Myrtle and our, and our Judea and Jerusalem, until we get a desire in our heart, we can talk all we want. Yes. So my heart's prayer is, is that you guys will get a desire, that this thing will grow as a desire and a consuming desire. For you to reach out and be part of this, there are several different areas. There's a lady that approached me and said, I ain't got a lot of money, but I got a strong back. What can I do? Praise the Lord. There's going to be plenty to do. So there's a whole lot to do. My, you know, we've got a community that God has called us to and that we will be accountable to someday. So this is an opportunity today for you to give of your resources to help make this thing come to pass. Now, an immediate need that we have is we've got Pastor Wendell Pruitt from Loosedale, Mississippi, uh, just a dear friend of ours. And, and by the way, I want to um, just very, very quickly ask you to pray for his lovely wife, Miss Ann. Her father had passed away just a few days ago. So we have been in much prayer for that. And uh, so church remembers uh, Miss Ann Pruitt and her family uh, as they go through that difficult time but pastor Wendell is bringing his staff and a good part of his church down we want to take very good care of them because those guys are going to work very hard and work very diligently when they get here to help us in this project it touches my heart to see somebody that's 12 hours away get a desire for a community leave his church and get a desire to help a little city called Kingsport yes. isn't that wonderful and I said pastor Wendell I said you've done this for us a few times and uh, I said, we would like to come to Loosedale, Mississippi. 
How many of y'all folks want to give, go to Loosedale, Mississippi and do a missions trip someday? I would like to be able to do that. But real quickly, uh, an immediate need that we have before we can even start on the, the project itself is we want to house these guys. So uh, I'm working with a local hotel and we're working back and forth to see if they want to become a sponsor of this and underwrite a part of this. They haven't gotten with me yet. So we are looking at an expense of about $900 to put his team up all weekend to feed him for his morning meal and to house that team very well that week. So uh, um, right away, right out of the gates, we need to raise those monies to take good care of our missionaries as they come. So I just want to put that to you. And my prayer is that you guys get a desire in your heart to see your city change. Yes. Amen. You know, the Bible talks about your heart, you know, uh, talks about your heart, your mouth, but your heart's far from it. So there's a lot of folks, as Jimmy said, that has resource. A lot of us has limited resource. And I want you to be much in prayer as to the seed that you're going to be in, uh, have an opportunity to give. Now we're going to uh, take the opportunity right now to be able to give into this project. It is a Sunday morning, so I want to just very uh, quickly talk to FFWC folks. If you're a Freedom Family Worship Center folk, um, what I want you to do, uh, beside you or on a seat near you, there's an offering envelope, and uh, there is a page that you can take with you, and you can start looking of everything that's where you're sowing your money into on Enlightened Kingsport. So you'll be able to uh, see all the projects that are going to take place. But if you're a member at FFWC and, and you want to worship God in your tithe, this is not your tithe. There's an envelope that says your offering next to it. Now, pay close attention. Anything that you would like to see go into Enlightened Kingsport, I need for you to place it in that envelope. That is your Enlightened Kingsport offering. You can make your checks to Freedom Family Worship Center. Anything that is taken up today that is not in an envelope, we're going to consider your tithe. Uh, your worship God and your tithe for this week. And again, that's very much needed as well. So again, anything in the envelope is your seat to enlighten Kingsport. It says offering on it. That is your offering above your tithe uh, this morning. Praise the Lord. Miss Amy, I want to ask our first lady to come forward and receive our offering. Heavenly Father, we're so thankful this morning for a group of folk that want to enlighten their city through your gospel. Father, I pray that you take the monies that are going to be received. I pray that you multiply them. I pray that they would just enable a small little church in the city of Kingsport to shed some light, some encouragement, and some hope into this place in which we call home in June, in June, starting 4 through 6, God. Heavenly Father, bless these monies and multiply them. I thank you for those that are giving right now. Some <coughs> are giving and don't have a lot of resources. Some may have uh, quite a bit of resource. But we pray that you would just bless these monies. Multiply them. Give us wisdom to use them to change your city. In your precious name. Amen. If you'll come at this time. 